20 years ago, 25 years ago, when I started doing this work, people were actually told, don't talk about diversity. Don't bring it up. And, and it was actually something that was legally um, not endorsed. Don't do it in case you are setting yourself up for a lawsuit. Just avoid that topic altogether. Now what we're asking, 20, 25 years later, is for people to not just bring it up, but to be proficient in talking about equity, diversity, and inclusion. And oh, by the way, it keeps changing. It's not the same equity, diversity, and inclusion that it was 20 or 25 years ago. There are all sorts of things that are more nuanced and kind of more connected to environmental and contemporary thinking and practices that haven't even been exposed. People haven't even been exposed to for all these years, let alone they're going to be willing and able to be masterful performers in this new space where I am expected to be proficient where I am expected to use the right words, where I'm expected to understand how to use and how to inquire about things like pronouns or gender, gender identity or gender expression or talk about you know, what does it mean? Do I say disabilities or people with disabilities? How do I talk about something like race? How do I talk about religion in this world where so many hate-based crimes are happening? Um, how do I actually bring that up in a way that's not actually going to shed light on me as potentially someone who uh, may be negative or maybe um, it, you know, be uh, implied for a racist or a bigot, or at least, or, or even kind of at the more minimal level, someone who doesn't have a skill set that's expected in a contemporary workplace environment. And so really thinking about change, especially related to equity, diversity, and inclusion, is going to require a pretty deep end of the pool commitment over time from your organization and all of the members of your organization to stay the course with this change process. And you as leaders have the toughest of it, right? People are looking to you for guidance, for direction. They're looking to you to have answers. They're looking to you to be the spokesperson. They're looking to you to, um, to, to hang in there when the process gets tough or muddy, to remind us why we're doing this work to create the dots between the ongoing work of pursuing uh, equity-related strategy and what that means as far as my near-term expectations for doing my actual job, they are going to look to you and you are going to have to show up and show up well. And that's not easy to do when you yourself are in learning mode, when you yourself don't always feel masterful, when you yourself are trying to figure out exactly how do I resonate how do I integrate all of the different nuances associated with equity, diversity, inclusion, and cultural competence, all the things that I've learned over the course of my entire lifetime and that I need to and am learning right now in a way that allows me to be present and masterful immediately?